What's up, guys? Last Tuesday, I didn't do a tech review, but today we are doing that. We have another keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, all waterproof, RGB. It looked pretty cool. It's called the Hitolf Wireless Gaming Mouse. The one we actually reviewed back a couple weeks ago, a wireless mouse that looked like the um, the Cooler Master one. A $39 combo right now on Amazon. So let's take a look at it. Unbox this bad boy. That's it. A Hitof wireless keyboard and mouse set. It's got RGB, a little uh, scroll wheel for the volume. And I'm going to use this for my other PC that I have, um, that I currently have. It's pretty cool that I use for my streams and stuff. Well, let's open it up. And we get the nice little mouse pad. It's just black. It's got Hitof on it. Pretty nice looking. Pretty premium quality. You got two charging cables, both types, one's type C, one's USB, micro USB A. Oh, mechanical feeling like keyboard. Got kind of got a built in rest a little bit. It's got a number pad, volume wheel, I think. Mute, refresh, play, RGB here, search, favorites, Internet Explorer got everything on here um it's got a little bit of flex to it but it's wireless so that's pretty cool little stiff mouse this feels kind of kind of cheap definitely the keyboard feels more premium but they're both wireless there is a black and a white one that you can buy for a wireless mouse, a uh, wireless keyboard combo set, black or white, and I can give you guys a twenty or twenty dollar or twenty five dollar off code when using in the checkout. It's not a promotion, but it is a special offer I have for you guys um, till February twenty ninth, and you will get this exclusively in your Amazon cart. So please check it out. It's a pretty good deal. So, like I said, this mouse is definitely a little bit on the cheap side. Um, scroll wheel feels really nice, which is good. Um, definitely, that's real steel. Wow, it's surprising. The rest is plastic. So, apparently, these bolts uh, receive off one receiver from what I get. They will be built into the bottom of the mouse, just like our recent one. And you can pull it out from the bottom, plug it into your PC, and you can use your mouse, the keyboard. I'm gonna, the mouse pad is a premium ass quality. Well, I have the USB plugged in now, and the mouse is working. It's got a little bit of RGB here. It's kind of cool looking. That this is plugged in, this keyboard can now be working. And how to do this is there's a side where you can charge it with Type C. Obviously, if you want to charge this, it's right. On the front here, it's the USB uh, A. So you press the switch all the way to this button here, and it will just light up. Now we should get it to work. Okay, so now it's working. Kind of show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty static right now. This one I don't think is is you can change. There's no buttons on here or anything. But if you hit the FN key and insert at the same time. It will change the mode or color settings. It's pretty cool, actually. That's looks white, but it shows purple on my screen, which is kind of interesting. Unfortunately, there's no RGB craziness going on with this, but like I said, it looks really nice. The, the mouse isn't actually bad either. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Honestly, it's a it's pretty good premium. I uh, will turn up the DP a little bit. All right, so now I guess we can do some gaming. Yeah, this feels really good. 
responsive. No input lag that I could tell. Uh, I mean, I just started using it, but... Yeah, so I mean, like, honestly, a, r a really good product. I've been using this for, like, two weeks now just to see how, like, how it could, would compare to, like, something to where... Um, you know Corsair or anything like that. Obviously, you're not going to be getting the RGB that Corsair would have obviously When Corsair comes to that kind of stuff, they're kind of in their own class It would have liked to have seen the at the price point the same the mouse for uh, you know the uh, The keyboard being mechanical, but it feels pretty good regardless. It doesn't have to be mechanical It just would be nice if it was But it feels good. Really, really good. Take that cacodemon out. And yeah, like pinpoint precision. I'm at the highest DP setting, so I think it's like five, five DP, which is pretty damn good. Side buttons feel good. I have to remember to use those. I usually don't use them unless they're on Warzone or Call of Duty. So. But yeah, feels good. Looks good. Feels good. Your people are made to suffer. Wow. Yeah, this is actually a pretty damn good deal for the price you pay. This is the stuff I love reviewing. Absolutely love. Because you find amazing stuff that's like, it would be the same price as elsewhere. And you're finding it for cheaper. And that's that's what I love about what I do. Finding amazing reviews. Finding stuff that works just as good as the original stuff. But this is the whole setup for 50 bucks. That's not bad. It, like I said, I wish the the keyboard would be mechanical. If you do jump on the deal, you happen to be seeing this uh, relatively early, you can get a free. You could get this whole bundle for twenty five bucks. So it would mean make me to believe that they have some wiggle room with pricing here. If they give you know me and you guys a specific deal, especially in the future wise, I chop that guy up. Um, so definitely check it out. Please check it out if you guys are interested in getting a new mouse and keyboard that are actually wireless for the price. I would definitely recommend it. It's really sick. Uh, I'm very happy to be, have this opportunity. Uh, very accurate mouse. I don't feel any input latency whatsoever. So definitely check it out, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. See you later. I'm Doomslaying.